This is Richard Morley with Maple Systems. The Maple Systems HMI 5000P series products feature the ability to send an email when an alarm or event is triggered. The ubiquity of email on mobile devices such as smartphones makes this feature a great way to notify off-site personnel when a machine needs attention from the maintenance department. This video covers how to enable and configure the email feature. First, enable the email feature from Edit, System Parameters. Select the Email tab and enable the email function by selecting the checkbox. The HMI only uses SMTP, Simple Mail Transfer Protocol, for email functions. Enter the SMTP server address. Enter the port number used for SMTP communications. Enter the username, usually the email address. Enter the password for the email account. Select or deselect the use of secure password authentication depending on the server. Choose the type of encryption used by the email server. This can be TLS or SSL. For more information on these encryption formats, contact your email service provider. The sender information can use the HMI name that is configured from the device tab or a different name that can be entered here. The mail address is used to specify the email address that is displayed when the mail is received. With the system parameters configured for the email feature, the contacts need to be configured. Clicking on the Open Contact Settings link below the sender information will open the Contacts dialog. Contacts must be added to the contact list before they can be added to the contact group. A contact can be added to a group by selecting the group from the current group drop-down box and then selecting the contact from the contact list and clicking on the Move button. The selected contact will now turn red in the contacts list and appear in the group information frame. The email function uses groups instead of email addresses for the recipients. With the groups created, alarms and alarm emails can be configured. From the alarm event log, create an alarm by clicking on New. The priority level of the alarm will affect the priority level of the email that is sent. This can be set to low to give a low level priority and emergency to give a high level priority. The rest of the alarm is configured normally. On the email tab, the alarm can be configured to send an email when the alarm is triggered and or when the event is cleared. Each selection is configured independently. When send while event triggered is selected, the email tab is populated with the frames that are used to configure the email that will be sent when the alarm is triggered. These fields include recipients used to select the groups that will receive the email, the subject of the email, this can use the alarm content as the subject or a custom subject, the body of the message, whether or not a screenshot will be attached. The project shown has alarms created that will be triggered dependent on the value of LW0. The numeric input object and the set word objects are all addressed to LW0. When the value of LW0 is increased from 0 to 1, the oven temperature low alarm is triggered and an email will be sent to group A. When an email is received from the HMI, the sender will show up as the name specified in the system settings. The body of the email will contain the information from the email section of the alarm configuration. For more information about Maple Systems products and configuration, go to maplesystems.com.